Lionsgate has released the first trailer for director Denis Villeneuve's movie Sicario, starring Emily Blunt, Josh Brolin, and Benicio Del Toro. The film is about an FBI agent, played by Blunt, that becomes involved in the war on drugs at the U.S.-Mexican border. Sicario comes to AMC Theaters on September 18th, 2015. Dennis, do you buy or sell the trailer? Oh, I big buy for me. I mean, I loved uh, Prisoners and uh, Denis Villeneuve. Uh, he's teamed up with Roger Deakins for his last, what, three movies? And two they're or doing three Blade movies? Runner together. Yeah, they're doing Blade yeah. Runner 2 together. And what he did so well in Prisoners was the tension and the suspense, and you got that from this trailer. And Emily Blunt playing these type of strong female characters that, that she did in uh, uh, Edge of Tomorrow and Looper, and she's doing it again in this one. I, I'm excited for this one. Christian? A uh, huge buy. Uh, because I not only like Prisoners, I really liked Enemy mm -hmm. as well. Love what this guy is doing. This trailer had a, had a bit of like traffic. It felt like traffic. Um, but Emily Blunt, what I liked about it, yes, she's been playing these strong roles in Edge of Tomorrow and in Looper. But this one seems to have that strong character. But there's also a bit of vulnerability, too, to where she's. it looks like she's on the side of, I, I, I'm, I'm in this job. I'm I'm committed to this job, but then there's this darkness of this job and this new mission that I've got to really explore, and it looks like there's corruption, it looks like Josh Brolin is going to be having his nose in corruption again, and Benicio Del Toro, man, like when Dave and I were talking about it off air, when that guy does it right, you can't take your eyes off him, and it seems like it's one of those roles, that's why I think I went back to traffic right away, because it was similar to him in that movie, but yeah, Villanueva is, that, is one of those new directors that you just hear he's doing anything, and you go, I'm in because of the movie looks beautiful from the trailer. It was it two and a half minutes, whatever it was? And it's just, you can tell. It, th there's certain directors that are stars, and they become, like, you, you have Tarantino and Nolan and dudes like that. Their style becomes yeah. their movies, and they're the movie. They're the stars of the movie. And he's becoming one of those guys. So I'm all on board. It's one of my most anticipated films now after watching this trailer. David? Yeah, that's big buy for me as well. I, I love the look of it, the atmosphere. I, I assumed when I first saw the trailer, I was like, there's got to be a Cormac McCarthy book. Just mm -hmm. because of the, he's so obsessed with the decay of the Southwest, and you know, of course, the really Scott, you know, uh, film that, that, that didn't do too well. It was the last Cormac McCarthy. This isn't him, but it just looks like that. It looks incredible, and Benicio is on point. I buy Emily Blunt every single time I see her in a movie. Uh, I think I first fell in love with her, if I can say that, it was in Devil Wears Prada. Mm -hmm. When she did that back with uh, Anne Hathaway, uh, she was fantastic in there. And then, of course, with Live, Die, Repeat or, or Edge of Tomorrow, whatever you want to call it, she was fantastic in there. She is one of the premier female uh, leads out there right now. And you also see it with um, my uh, kind of, I don't know, throwing back to True Detective season two coming out with, with Rachel McAdams, mm -hmm. that story of a, a cop kind of just on the edge, as Christian said, on the edge. And they look like they're going to mirror each other well, even though one's on TV and one's on film. Well, you know, it actually reminds me of that TV show, The Bridge on oh, FX, because yeah. yeah. that, mm -hmm. that was about the border between mm -hmm. Mexico and the U.S. And, and a lot of drug smuggling. Diane Kruger well. was in there, another uh, yeah. great female actor. Yeah. Yeah. 